Hello, welcome to another video. This video, we're going to take our fire simulation that we have over here. We're going to turn it to a digital asset. And I'm going to keep this video quite short and compact. So creating a digital asset, I'm going to select what I want. And I'm not going to select uh, my notes that are could be my inputs. So that's still outside of that. So I'm going to just select these. And I'm going to hit create sub network. Then we have like one single node. I'm going to right click the node, I'm going to say create digital assets, or you can create a version digital assets. And now with that, we're going to just type and call this, for example, like pyro smokes, uh, and I'm going to call it tutorial and press apply. So in here, you will now have the menu and we can go into our properties of the nodes and we can start adding here a custom uh, interfaces and sliders. So currently this is my tool. Uh, we can remove this name and it doesn't have any interface at the moment so the interface is just blank and we can create some custom values so what we can do is we can of course store it inside of our tool and we can play around with the settings and for that i might actually want to make a couple folders so i'm going to make a folder first of all for the pyro sim so pyro uh, sim or solver and then maybe later I'm going to make like a folder for then uh, the flip book uh, when I render that out. So I'm mainly going to like add PyroSim solver uh, sliders. So some things that we have here. So we can actually just grab the amplitude here and we can just grab them over here. So this is called density. Then density. Uh, we can then here grab our temperature. The temperature then we can grab our burn value so burn so with these three values we can already do a lot uh, what we can also do is we can add here uh, different offset values this will be the seed so if i can grab this here and i'm just going to call this seed value and press apply we will now turn this as you can see into like a linked value so i'm going to copy paste this code and i'm going to place it with the other ones so here now we are linking these values together so what could be cool is that we actually have like a different value each uh different node so right now they're all the same so let's just multiply this by random values so we can just type in some random values here doesn't matter that much uh, same here just multiply type in some random values and here again multiply type in some values so it's just basically that we have like random values so it doesn't matter that much if it's like a large number or smaller number it basically is offsetting the noise then after that is done uh, we then have these values uh, we want to of course here have the voxel size um, so here we're going to grab here this and say voxel size or we can just call it uh, quality uh, simulation there are other settings we can then uh, play around with so we can maybe here have the disturbance and turbulence um, so I'm gonna just grab these and place them over here disturbance turbulence and maybe at the quality simulation this can be a slider that can be quite high uh, so here maybe let's grab a separator and do it like so so when I press apply close this for a moment so we now have a menu with like different tabs so our first tab is our pyro solver and then in later videos i will add more things here in the flipbook so we can just now quickly change our input we can then have a result like you can see here and now we can play around with uh, the sliders so we can for example play around with the seed so if i change the seed i should see like a different effect here so there is definitely like some variation here. If I would now bring this back to zero, for example, I should now have like a quite somewhat different effect. Um, I can now here then have the quality. You can tweak the range here as well. Uh, you can also tweak the range here as well. So maybe go back to the menu. And we're gonna just go here, tweak our ranges. So this can maybe go from 0.2 to don't go 
go near zero so maybe in, let's say 0 0.5 can be the lowest one then here these values uh, maybe they can go from 2 to 0 like so and accept so now we, are, we have like some better ranges here so here I can now set the lower quality I play around with like the density hit play and now as you can see like we have like more density so if I lower this it's like a very small amount we don't have actually that much uh, simulation going on so we can boost these values we can for example lower the turbulence so we just have a smoke like that so you can see that you can quickly play around with some of these values and like tweak it a bit on how you would like to see your simulation uh, last thing that i want to do here is i want to also now here have this switch node to make look full so we're going to just do a few last tweaks so we can just grab it here and maybe we can place it at the bottom and just call it make loop and this can be a toggle so we're going to switch this from integer to toggle press apply and then we have our baking volume and also here with that we can for example here grab our scaling here so density uh, i would say look because this is mainly like the visual look of it and one more thing to do here is actually placing an output node so to make sure that this is always my output we need to make sure that we have an output node and i'm gonna press accept again so now here uh if i just play again we have our smoke we can make this loopable so if i now press make loopable we should now have like a fully loopable simulation as you can see so that fully works so it's now so it's just now loopable and press pause and now i can also have like the look here so if i want to just quickly make this subtle without having to touch like the actual simulation or solver values i can here like play around with that i can make it very subtle or i can just make it very intense like it's a very thick smoke as you can see so this is so this is like quickly playing around with that so that's it for this video so we just wrapped up our system into a small tool and i added a couple of values over here so it's up to you if you want to like uh, either like add more values or tweak different values remove values make your own menus make your own structures so it's all up to you you have like a lot of freedom and options here to create your own unique tool to make like very interesting smoke simulations so i hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching